this one is green visible yes sir okay so in the last class we studied about uh, industrialization uh, we looked at industrial revolution then the major contributors to industrial engineering the field of industrial engineering the father of industrial engineering and uh, modern industrial techniques so these were the techniques that we saw so next we will study about the functions of industrial engineering so these are basically the functions given here so industrial engineering activities uh, span the entire enterprise so if you are taking an uh, industry various operations are taking place in an industry for manufacturing a product itself we are uh, creating uh, many operations and also before the creation of the product itself we have to design it we have to test it and uh, prototype testing etc and various operations are carried out and um, many engineering activities are present in an industry okay next it plays an important role in any organization during the formation of a new company and its operation so um, a startup of a new company various operations are carried out and we have to uh, plan ahead about the engineering uh, parts that we had to do that that is uh, especially the machines and uh, the operations that have to be carried the number of labors that have to be required the capital required and uh, etc are required uh, for a uh, enterprise to start then it covers various aspects of productivity and human environment so uh, on the field of in the field of uh, production there is many operations right so we uh, industrial engineering covers aspects on productivity and also on human environment so in the number of labors required or the operation for a particular operation how many labors are required um, what are what are the cost incurred during the human labor and how much time is required for the operation to be completed and uh, how much time uh, is required if we are increasing the person or decreasing the number of uh, labor etc are also covered under industrial engineering then various groupings are uh, considered so various functions we are going to study each function in detail so the first function is method study okay the first method study is method study so what is method study it is given here it is a systematic technique of observing a recording with certain scientific tools and critically evaluating and examining the present methods of doing a job or a task so as to develop improved simpler cheaper and more effective methods so what is method study is a systematic technique of observing recording observing and recording so we are observing uh, for a particular job or a particular operation we are observing the job how it is done or what operations have to be carried out to complete the product so we are studying so a basic method is formulated for every production or a product design or a product uh, uh, product uh, pro production so each operations are observed and then record okay so when you are starting a new enterprise if you are using a similar product uh <clears throat> we are looking at the operations that have to be carried out from a uh, previous enterprise that has already been producing that component so basic operations are always the same okay so we are observing that and then recording this uh, recording the operation then what we will do we will critically evaluate the operations examining the present methods and develop improved simpler cheaper methods for uh, production so that is what is here we are doing we are observing the method and recording it and then implementing it so we will also check if we can develop uh, improved simpler and cheaper methods so if we can improve the methods we can produce better 
uh, uh, we can uh, produce a better products then uh, simpler design if you have simpler design and simpler operations the workload will be less and you can increase the production uh, efficiency then cheaper methods if you are using cheaper methods you can give a, you can increase the profit earned during the production so these are all coming under the method study so basic study is that you are observing and recording then developing and improving uh, developing and improving the method study for better uh, similar and cheaper uh, production that is what is done under method study so it is aimed at developing simplest work methods and establishing the one best way of doing the work so uh, any work it can be a production of a uh, pen and body and the pen refill etc so these are all jobs so we, we can produce each uh, component by studying the methods and establishing the best way for doing it there be numerous methods so if, I, if you take a body of the pen you can do it by molding okay what is molding is basically uh, we are using dies so inside a die you will have the shape of the pen and you are supplying the, the you are supplying the plastic or the plastic solution into the die so that once it cools down it obtains that shape that is what is being done and it can also be done in another molding setup that is called the injection molding where you can penetrate or inject the plastic mold into the die so this is another technique so various techniques are there for uh, a simplest work so we are looking for the simplest more cheapest and the effective method that can be implemented for doing the uh, for increasing the production that is what is done so we are studying that and that study is known as method study okay the scope of method study includes includes all types of work processes working environment tools and equipment so we are all uh, these are the scope of method study we are looking for the work processes then working environment we look at the working environment tools and equipment so these are the uh, scope so these are the things that we look into when doing method study and we will look for how to improve these methods or these processes to perform the job that is what is done in method study so this is a basic layout so what you will do is that we will select a particular operation we will record it after that we will examine how it is done how can it be uh, and how can it be uh, uh, modified and then we will develop the plan after the modification we will develop the plan then define it uh, we will give it to uh, the operations will be passed on to the workers or the machines then we will install it we will uh, install the product or we will produce the product and then maintain the product according to this method study so that is how the method study procedure is done next function is to perform a motion study so what is a uh, motion study so every job that is carried out in an industry can be broken down to its fundamental work elements okay we can uh, we can uh, every job that is uh, even the production of a pen there are various seg segments uh, under that job okay one is designing the pen that is the design section then comes the uh, testing session where the prototype is test uh, for uh, the amount of time the refill uh, takes to uh, empty and you have to change it and uh, even under load uh, what are the load under which the pen can break so various operations are carried out then we have the there uh, 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 we have the production section then having the package section inventory section so many sections so a work a job is classified or broken down into fundamental work elements okay so we have studied uh, about three contributors to the industries so one contributor that is gilbert 
he found out 17 of these motions. So what is motion? So we are breaking down a job into a fundamental work elements and he found 17 fundamental L work elements or we can call it as motions. So from one area, it goes to another area. From a design, it goes to uh, <coughs> testing. Testing, it goes to production. Production, it goes to uh, packaging. Packaging, it goes to inventory. So these are all various areas of an industry. So that is the fundamental element. So likewise, he itself found 17 of these motions. So he broke down his industrial operations into 17 parts and each part was studied. So that is how uh, the product from one uh, section or one department to another department, how it is carried out, what are the operations there, how many labors and uh, what are the works done, uh, how much time is required. These are all the studies under motion study. So he performed motion studies and he found 17 of these motions between each department. Then the time to complete <coughs> Each motion does not change. So we are fixing at a time for each operations. Okay. So for a designing section, they are giving, uh, you have to complete the design within this part. Then this time, then uh, comes the uh, testing session. You have to test it during this time. So we are classifying each section or each operations to be carried out to particular times. We are classifying it into two particular times. And these times are then incorporated into the final uh, production so that we will obtain uh, much better production efficiency. So that is how uh, motion study is carried out. Then jobs can be studied visually or through the assistance of camera for micro motion studies. So, uh, there will be a personnel, basically the supervisor, who will uh, overview or he will look at all the processes that are carried out during a uh, process or a, a job and then uh, he will note down each of the motion studies and how it is done. That is basically what is done. That is uh, human labor. While uh, in today's world, we use with the help of cameras. So the cameras are installed and uh, micro studies, micro motion studies itself, that is fast operations. Fast operations cannot be viewed with the naked eye and we can't count how much is done. So we use micro motion, for micro motion studies, we use cameras. And in today's world, we use cameras to study each and every operations. Next function is performing a time study. So we have various time uh, for each operations to be carried out. So what is the importance of this time? So de depending on the demand of the product. So once the product has been established in the market and once it becomes uh, stable and maintained, the product will be having sufficient demand. So people will require certain components. So uh, in a real life conditions, we know that uh, certain components uh, products like uh, toothpaste, brush, uh, soap, etc. are uh, required in huge demand. So everyone needs it. So to perform, uh, to produce such a product, we have to produce it frequently and more uh, fastly so that to meet up with this demand. So we have to produce certain components like that. But in the case of certain components which do not have uh, much demand, more time is also taken. So it is not a problem. So depending upon the demand, a time is fixed. So at this time, the product has to be reached in the market. Or at uh, uh, this time, the operation has to be completed. And depending on that time, a time study is, uh, is created. And this is also called work measurement. So the amount of time a work is carried out or the amount of time a labor works to complete certain operations. Such all come under time study. Okay, time varies greatly when the employee does not know what, ex, uh, what to expect of the company is, what is the expectation of the company is. Then in order to correct the problem, industrial engineering develop a fair standard expectation for each operation. So for each operation, a basic time is classified by the 
uh, enterprise and hand it over to the labor. So even if a new labor uh, is or a new worker is inducted into the company, a uh, common time study uh, is set and he will have to follow this study based on previous people. So uh, uh, previous workers may have uh, allotted uh, this time and they have been completing the work within this time and a new person has also uh, also has to complete it within the time specified by the company. So for that a good time study will take into account the unavoidable delays. So some delays have to be uh, kept so sometimes for a cooling down of an equipment or for a, uh, 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 leaves provided by the uh, workers that is uh, sick leaves etc then um, such are uh, unavoidable delays you can't avoid them then comes fatigue and to an extent outside interference outside interference can also occur so these are some unavoidable delays we can't uh, we can't avoid them so these are also incorporated into the good time study for efficient production and uh, supply of the products so that is why a time study is useful then wasteful steps type uh, that is such as searching for tools this is also uh, included in the uh, this will not be included in the final standard so we have to uh, if we are finding some wasteful steps like this we are we are we will be implicating new ways to reduce this wasteful steps so searching for tools becomes possible only because the tools are present at a single location so instead of that if we are providing the tools for each workbench or for each operation such time is uh, not lost so for that purpose purposes we are also studying this for time study to increase production that is the main uh, aim of the industry to increase the production with the cost effective methods and faster uh, methods so for that we are uh, using uh, good time study then the expectation is that the workplace will be designed to accommodate the work and will be free from this type of waste so that is what i have said earlier so to reduce the waste step the tools are provided closer to the worker for better production then next is the production planning and control so in production planning and control uh, this branch deals with uh, planning how to uh, how to produce or how, how are the operations to be carried out and then control the amount of inventory that has to uh, inventory uh, that has to be occupied in a single day so uh, for example if the company has been decided a thousand products of the uh, sub, sub, sub Suppose the 1000 uh, <coughs> units of the product has to be produced, then we have to produce that 1000 units in a single day with that time of operation. So a time study is done and the time is fixed and during that work hours, sufficient products has to be produced. So this is planned ahead, maybe not uh, during the operation, but it is planned ahead so that such, such production or uh, production of the products can be done and it is controlled so depending upon the demand we are controlling how much products are needed so for a, a huge demand product we have to produce sufficient amount of products to meet that demand and for low demand we can take much more time and store it in inventory and then utilize it okay that is how they are controlling production and control Next comes human resources. So humans are the workers that are present and human is still present in each uh, operations. Uh, replacing machines have replaced the humans for a uh, particular amount, but still humans are required and such, uh, such, a, the, such a way that human resources are present inside an in industry or an enterprise. And for that, human resources study are also being done. So how much humans are uh, required or how many workers are required for completing a particular operation and the products required and uh, the skill level, the training level uh, he has to be given. 
um, then the salary plans and their uh, provident fund plans incentive plans etc are then studied under this function so this is also the function of a industrial engineering next is establishing performance standards so depending upon the operation of job and the quality of the material we implement uh, <coughs> sufficient uh, denotations such as you can see in the figure excellent good average so we are giving performance standards so how the performance are being done and this increases the morale of the labor so depending upon the performance uh, if it is good and excellent this increases the morale of the labor thereby increasing production so these are all studies done under the industrial engineering next is statistical quality control so we are looking for quality of the product and we are uh, checking it with uh, previous products or uh, we are checking it with uh, uh, products available in the market by another company so such are uh, quality controls we are looking at the quality and we are Setting for statistics according to how the production can be increased and how the quality based on quality uh, the products can be supplied to the market so this is coming under statistical quality control next is quality so every product has a certain level of quality based on the operations it has to perform during its life cycle so depending upon that the quality is set so <coughs> various components are produced by an industry or various processes are produced for the production of the product and various quality um, so you can see here it is said that poor quality material often introduces excessive amounts of rework into each of the processes so if you are taking automobile components such a product must not come into contact with various maintenance so if you have maintenance in a vehicle uh, multiple times the quality of the product is such a way that it uh, does not handle the various loads that is occurring in the vehicle so that is the problem of a pure quality material so we are producing high quality materials so as to run the vehicle smoothly for even 10 to 12 years so that is what is the quality level okay so that is depending upon the product it varies and uh, often poor quality material results in reworks so if you take a pen it is a poor quality material so you can easily break it can easily damage and it is replaced so the production has to be increased for a pen for certain uses okay and depending upon the pen the quality of the pen itself the quality is uh, sorry uh, the work case determined so the quality of the pen uh, various prices of pen are uh, in, available in the market and depending upon the use it differs okay the quality differs next comes the design of inventory control so in a, uh, what is inventory basically inventory is nothing but the storage of the products that is packed so you can see here it is stored and various labors are uh, sorting out the inventories as shown in the figure and uh, inventory uh, is then gone to the consumer or the market from here it is going to the market some inventories are stored for a particular time so i have told you depending upon the demand only the company produces a product certain components uh, the demands will be less so we'll uh, so we had produced the pro products earlier and we don't have any way to uh, replenish it so we, what we will do is that we will store it in an inventory a storage space so that will be stored there in the company and the huge demand company uh, products will be then after packing and stored in the inventory will be going on or will be sent to the market immediately so it will be packed and sent so we know uh, online uh, bookings and all and we are doing online uh, purchases and all and these components are available uh, so you can see uh, when we are looking or tracking the history of this uh, products you can see how they have been packed they have been shipped and they have arrived at the location so this is all coming under inventory control so from the inventory it is the pack and then shaped and then going to the 
consumer that is what is coming under the inventory control and this is also studied so how fast the uh, uh, products can be delivered so uh, depending on the distance of the product it uh, uh, takes some time so that uh, that all we have seen during an online purchase we have seen that and that also comes under uh, inventory control this is designed by yeah, this is a design. This designing is also a function of industrial engineering. Then developing standard training programs. So every worker uh, has a certain level of skill, and for freshers, that is uh, newcomers, we are providing training programs. Not only newcomers, when we are introducing a new technique or a new software into the industry. We develop various training programs for the present personnel itself, for that, so that they can keep up to the evolving industrial techniques. So various industrial techniques will be uh, produced, and uh, each and every member should know how to operate the machine or various operations that have been introduced, the newest uh, introduced design. Such an all is uh, done under uh, standard training programs access of facilities planning and material handling so uh, we have various uh, operations carried inside an industry and we have various facilities we have to provide various facilities basic facilities like a light uh, uh, may, maybe an enclosed space various uh, workstation uh, tools these are all basic facilities then facilities are planned ahead for various operations such as machine for conveyor belt to uh, transfer each product from one location to another or maybe carrying it from one location to another a crane uh, so it is based, uh, done this is planned these facilities are planned on basis of what operations are carried out but basic facilities are always there there is a light there is bulbs uh, workstation workbench um, and then maybe a system, a computer. So these are all basic uh, requirements. These will, facilities will be there. Then material handling comes under the transport of the products from the area of production to the area of inventory. So that is how uh, material handling is there. So for that, facilities are also provided. Maybe a forklift, um, a small vehicle that carries the components or the products back the products so from the uh, <coughs> production side to the inventory control so these are all facilities uh, so facility planning and material handling also comes under industrial engineering next is the value analysis so what is value analysis so for every product that we have uh, taken three basic three components we are looking at its cost its outcomes and its quality these are the three components so based on this we are analyzing the value of the product so if it has a lower cost um, and its outcome is uh, that is the demand is more then the quality is sufficient quality is there then we can say it is a cost value its value is high because it produces more profit to the company it produces more profit to the company uh, while the other one where it is a costly product costly products are uh, raw materials are used to bring up the products and its outcomes are huge demand is not there and the quality is significantly high then its value uh, in its value analysis it is greater but the, the company does not get intended profits because only few number of consumers are there for the product so such are all the uh, value analysis that is done so various uh, minimum uh, sorry the various uh, value analysis are done to determine the value of the product that is done okay so it ensures that no unnecessary costs are built into the product and it tries to provide the required function at minimum cost so that is the important point it is done at uh, at the minimum cost so the cost must be minimum so as to earn more profit that is the function of an industry it is a business we have to produce or uh, incur more profit so as to uh, sell the product so then only you can um, 
with that capital only you can then purchase further raw materials and then produce more products so with a loss you can never do that so for that purpose we have to reduce the cost of production at the minimum cost if you can produce a product and that is the most valued product inside the industry that is coming under value analysis then the last one is job evaluation so we are evaluating the performance of the uh, uh, personals and apart from that each job so how the job is done it may be outstanding excellent very good average below average so if it is below average or average and all we have to come up with more operation strategies or we have to discuss various strategies under industrial engineering so as to improve its job evaluation to outstanding so that is what is done for that purpose only we are evaluating the job if it is uh, excellent then you can continue the process as such or you have to develop more methods to evaluate it okay that are all the these 13 are the functions of an industrial engineering and if asked in a question you have to write this 13 with sufficient examples you don't have to draw anything and just you have to explain what you understood from this okay next is the application of industrial engineering so industrial engineering the main resources are men money material equipment and machinery so there is machinery present raw materials then we are incurring money as in the case of profit or given to the workers and facilities then men and equipments are the main resources in industry engineering so here industrial engineering is a study of all the facilities and uh, we are we have looked upon each function of the industrial engineering so we are applying the engineering that is the mathematical and physical solution to each and every field so each and every field such as the resources such as men money material equipment and machinery so we are applying this engineering analysis to each field so we are looking at how many um, <coughs> workers that has required how many money that has to be spent both to the workers and to the materials then comes the equipment and machinery basic tools that is required for the and if tools is not sufficient then we have to go for machinery machinery to produce the product so these are all coming under industrial engineering so engineering is done or the engineering study is done for uh, using this particular resources so an engineer carries out an industrial engineer carries out the analysis in order to achieve the objectives that is basically to increase the productivity or profit so these are the both uh, these are the basic uh, objectives of an engineer so you have to increase the productivity and also the profits so engineers carries out analysis on these resources and introduce various policies in the organization to increase the productivity or profit that is what is done uh, by an engineer so that is how industrial engineering is applied into the industry an industrial engineer is engaged in the design of a system that is function is primarily that of management so it is a management uh, field that is what is done by an industrial engineer he is an engineer but he is engineering various uh, methods to increase the productivity and the profits so it is basically a management field then area of operation of industrial engineer in a manufacturing and in, in includes so the area of operation where all he will look at is that are in fields such as method study work measurement so method study i have told you one of the function of industrial engineering then work measurement so time study that is work measurement then comes incentives that is given to the labor and then the plan layout these are the fields wherein he will look and operate and then based on that he will uh, try to increase the productivity or the profit earned from certain area of operations then by the years the dynamic nature of modern industrial engineering serves all level of management in problem solving are applicable in almost every kind of organization that is in bank hospital governments at all levels transportation construction warehousing and manufacturing so uh, various operations uh, are, i have already told you uh, micro motion studies are done by cameras and with the help of these cameras engineers itself study various problems occurring at each departments and then uh, produce various problem uh, solving methods 
to increase productivity and the profit. Then it is a means of raising the productivity of a plant by reorganization of work, a method which normally involves little or no capital expenditure or facilities and equipment. So once we are uh, finding a method for increasing the productivity of a plant, we are reorganizing the work, maybe the process of the work that is done or the order at which the operations have been carried out. These are just changed. So while changing this, the facilities used are not changed. They are the same operations are carried out and same facilities are required and but the order of the operations is only just changed and this raises productivity only if the engineer determines it raises the productivity okay that is how uh, it is done it is applied industrial engineering is applied in the field then it can be used with the success wherever work is done or the plant is operated, not only in production shops. So it, can, uh, it is not limited to production stop, shops, but also in offices, stores, laboratories, and service industries. So all in all these fields, we are applying industrial engineering uh, procedures to uh, raise the profit incurred from each uh, uh, each of these things that we have told offices, stores, laboratories, and service industries. So, this is the application of industry engineering. I will wind up the class today.